네, 이번에는 어, 또 다른 시간입니다. 블록체인 보안의 선두 주자죠. 네, 동급 최고 수준의 포멀 검증과 AI 기술을 활용해서 블록체인, 스마트 컨트랙트, 웹3 뎁 등을 확보해서 모니터링하는 서틱의 어, 최고 보안 책임자 강리 교수님의 웹 3.0 비즈니스의 보안 및 리스크 관리를 주제로 발표해 주시겠습니다. 무대로 모시겠습니다. 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 안녕하세요. Uh, I'm Kang Lee uh, from Certic. It's a great pleasure for me to come here and give a talk. Um, like many of you, I share the vision that uh, blockchain technology has a bright future. I'm also excited to hear Posan is trying to make the city as a leader in the global Web3 innovation. Um, I work for Certic. I'm the chief security technology. We are a cybersecurity uh, and Web3 security company. And the topic today I'm going to cover is about Web3 security and risk management. Uh, Certic is the uh, leading Web3 uh, security company. We are the largest one in terms of the number of customers, the number, the amount of assets we protect, and also in terms of valuation. Uh, now, working in this uh, field. I have witnessed many of the security incidents. I'm pretty sure many of you heard some of them, uh, but I have seen more. So the first part of the talk I'm going to give you is an overview about the latest trend and the uh, challenge faced by the Web3 projects. For information about the detail, please uh, visit our site to look at our monthly and quarterly report. I put one link here. And uh, a quick summary for the recent quarter re quarterly report is that although the amount of loss might be lower than last year, but the number of incidents, the number of security incidents is still high. Uh, give you more fresh information. Uh, let's look at this a few pictures. So the large bar graph here actually shows the latest uh, statistic about the uh, High, uh, high amount incident happening last month. Uh, I'm, not go I'm not going to go into every detail, but if you look at the top few bar, I can tell you that most of these few incidents is caused by the private key losses. Uh, only until the, I think the fourth place, the Star Arenas, that's about a, a smart contract exploitation. If you look at the other uh, small graph, I'm not sure whether they can read it or not, those are the value amounts at different months uh, caused by either flash loan attack or other type of attack. On the top figure, there's a big spike. I can tell you that one is due to the EULA finance. That's attack happened in, uh, I think, in March. That's a flash loan market manipulation attack. The bottom one shows other type of compromise attack and uh, the most recent month, like the, oh, the September one, the, the spike there, Mostly it's caused by a, a, a key custodian uh, solution, uh, asset management company called Mixing. It's based on Hong Kong. That's like a $200 million hack incident. I will cover a little bit later. Then previous than that, there's the uh, Wiper incident. I will also cover that, which is a compiler supply chain type of mistake. Now, what the point by showing all uses all this number? Well. First, I want to tell you there are really different type of risk Web3 project is facing. Most of you probably heard smart contract exploitation, blockchain level attack. That's one category I put there. I also have two other categories. Uh, one is called the other Web3 components. I will go into detail later. And this is including the like, Telegram bot to the backend cloud. And it turns out that actually contributes a lot of attack and people may not pay attention. And third group is scam. This can be the scam caused by faking project or can be you know, fake user to you know, attack real project. Now, for the first group, I'm gonna give a really quick summary. Like, it really, for the smart contract or chain related attack, there's three type of uh, attack. One is uh, like the common one, you, uh, you heard probably a lot, like re-entering attack, parameter padding attack, that still happens. 
that caused some loss, but that, that's not dominant now. Price manipulation, it also happened. This actually hurt people a lot in terms of volume, in terms of the amount of money loss. I mentioned EULA Finance, that's about, about like $200 million level loss, right? But there's also a third category, like uh, the, the layer one, layer two chain availability level uh, risk. Uh, people tend to you know, ignore that. So I will cover that a, a bit. So number one message based on the trend I want to tell you is that uh, the risk of smart contract exploitation is still there, but compared to market manipulation attack, flash loan attack, the damage caused by the smart contract exploitation is actually smaller. And, and you should really pay attention more on the other type. And in addition, I mentioned the chain level availability. So this is a story, this is a picture come from the day uh, the anniversary of Aptos mainnet launch. This is just uh, fairly recent. On the day of their, on the anniversary day of this uh, Aptos mainnet launch, the whole Aptos network shut down because of uh, uh, software bug. They have to patch it. It take like five hours. Now people might feel like, you know, why? You know, it's just a you know chain shut down. I shouldn't care, right? Well, it it, it actually cares. Like think about people making transaction on it and application running on top of it. This type of incident is actually gonna hurt a lot, especially if you, your project is more popular, then your user get hurt. And, and I copy one of the complaint here. The downtime really hurts the valuation of the project. So uh, that's the first group of the risk I want to summarize. And go to the second group. Uh, this is the group that I feel like people tend to ignore a lot, but that happens, and there are more sophisticated attack happen. The attacker try to explore not only just the smart contract, but also the supply chain, the infrastructure, and, and also their insider risk. So I'm gonna give a few examples. Very first one is the wiper attack. This is uh, one that hurt the curve finance and a few other projects. And this is a big one because the problem happens not on the project code. It happened because of the curve, uh, sorry, it's because the curve used Wiper as the programming language. The Wiper compiler, certain version of the compiler has problem. The problem of the compiler, the cost, the projects, uh, you know, protections, mechanism void. Basically, even you have a protection against a re-entry attack, because you are using the wrong compiler or the older version of a compiler, that defense mechanism becomes disabled. That's an example of supply chain attack. Another example is called this milk set. It turns out like lots of Bitcoin implementation wallet uses library. And this library itself has a problem. So as a result, if you got a software use this library to generate private key, the attacker can predict your private key has a good chance to find your private key without even touch your software. So this hurt even code wallet, like that uses library. So that's two examples of this, uh, the uh, supply chain you know, problem, which means that you should not just review your own you know, contract code. You, you, can, you should look broadly, look at all the other component. One more example, I mentioned there's like in September, there's a big spike on the attack, $200 million loss to this mixing, this is a Hong Kong based asset management company. They got attacked because their key and information stored on the cloud, attacker targeted their cloud storage and tried you know, get their uh, information there. That got the uh, user asset loss. It's a huge amount. One more example. You all heard about malware, you know, people you know, use malware, you know, either still private key or other private information, your bank account. But there are, and in this example, uh, Lazarus, the famous group you know, from the neighbor right here, uh, they use the particular malware you know, target the exchange developer. The reason is if they get the developer, they can inject backdoor in the exchange. They can have privileged access to the exchange backend one more example, uh, there's, uh, it's also fairly recent, like uh, there's a former Huobi wallet, this is on the news, 
they believe that the children being put into the wallet because of an insider attack. So even you believe you have a good design, but if you got someone else to implement your code, you maybe outsource or someone you don't trust, you better review the code because they can put in a children and a backdoor. Uh, the last group, the their fake project, you know, you know that there are phishing attacks, steal people's money, steal you know people's credential. You might feel like this is not related to your project, but it actually hurts you. There's also the fake account that potentially can steal you know, promotions. So I'll give you two examples. One is, uh, uh, I, I remember previous there's a talk mentioned Linear, the, the project. Uh, this is from uh, uh, the consensus. The, they, they made the project. I can tell you their, their official airdrop token is not, you know, they are not officially, they haven't officially released a, a token. But if you uh, search online, and in fact searching, we find a couple of faked leaning our job. And this actually steal people's money, but also hurt the project. Uh, there's also the fake wallet. Uh, I'm not gonna go into detail, but if you're interested, please uh, go to Radar blog page because the time uh, constraint, I'm not, going, I'm not going to go into detail. Uh, let's also look at the other aspect of the, you know, the, the fake scam attack to real project. Uh, there are lots of promotion, like can be air job, can other benefit that you know project owner put up, try to get the user to get on board, right? And I put a picture here. I think there's the one with exchange making promotions, but I hope all the project you know owner knows there's also a type of, a type of attack called a SIBO attack, which means that the attacker can make lots of fake account. These are all owned by probably a single attacker or a group of attacker. And then they, all, they use all this fake account to take action to grab the air job, grab all the promotion, which steal money from the project, defeat your purpose of doing promotion. You end up like, you, you saw you increase your user base, but you might actually only get the fake users. So that's the important uh, attack factor, risk factor you have to think about. Now what can you do with this? Now let's look at the bright side. So in general, security company like Certic can offer the following suggestion or actions. Like I mentioned in general, like there's three actions, threat modeling, layer of defense, and professional service. Very quickly, so what, what does threat modeling mean? Threat modeling means that you need to know really what kind of attack risk, uh, security risk you can have. This is what, you know, by showing you early example to try to help you that, uh, you know, a professional security company probably can tell you more about the potential risks. And don't just, you know, looking at the one piece of code, you have to look at the whole project. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is like Certic as us, and there are also other secure companies doing things like this. We are quite proud that we offer a full spectrum of uh, professional security aud auditing. My team are the official auditor for our Aptos. We also get a huge bounty from the top bounty from SUI. So we do layer one, layer two uh, auditing, and we're, uh, we, we are well recognized by uh, outside. We are also the only team that get uh, public uh, acknowledgement by Apple and Samsung for our contribution to fix their security bugs. So if you have your latest, uh, for example, iOS update, the iOS 7, uh, 17, if you look at their uh, release, they will have the Certic name on it, uh, in, uh, official acknowledge, and Samsung did the same thing in May. We also offer uh, security auditing to wallet and uh, custodian solutions. We also help the, uh, some of the important project, we also work with them and help them fix problem like WorkCoin. Uh, we, in, beside of doing secure service for the project and uh, owners and, and developers, we also try to help the regular users. So if you go to the Certic website, we actually have a leaderboard shows that if for any of the project that known to the public, that you are interested and you want to know how good their security is, we have a security leaderboard. So most of the well-known projects, they have the evaluation there. And uh, the method of the evaluation is transparent. You can you know, even upload additional information. All the, uh, this, this security uh, leaderboard information has been widely used by Coin Marketplace and Coin Geico. So in this way, we are hoping to help the user to recognize or differentiate those, you know, the project with uh, dedicated security effort versus one that didn't care. 
Uh, last, last information I want to provide that uh, Certic also offer like 24-7 instant response. Uh, we, are, we have a large team covered the you know, global uh, time zone. So if you ever have a security incident, you need someone now to help, uh, we're more than happy to hear you and we, we provide professional incident analysis and you can find our report online. Uh, that's all I have and thanks for your time.